Hello everyone, this is Suhan, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Today I want to show you how to rehab your wrist after a fracture. So stay tuned. When you have a fracture over your wrist, then you wear a brace or a surgery if needed. People often think the fracture side being healed is what they all need for it. However, that is not true. There are three things we lose from prolonged usage of a brace. There are range of motions, strength, and stability that we're going to lose. So I'm going to show you exercises in different stages so you can recover those three things. Stage one, early mobilization, which typically starts around three weeks. We're gonna start light movements of your wrist, including wrist pump and wrist circling. Bring your wrist up and down without holding for your wrist pump exercise and circling of your wrist clockwise and counterclockwise for wrist circling exercise. We'll repeat each of the motion for one minute and all motions should be pain free. We'll also start gripping exercise by squeezing a towel or a small sized ball lightly with pain free and hold for three seconds repeating 20 repetitions. Stage two typically starts around four to eight weeks will now individualize of your wrist movement for regaining your range of motions. And they are wrist flexion, extension, radial deviation, and ulnar deviation. We'll start each wrist motion about 20 repetitions without holding. We'll then stretch muscles around your wrist by adding slight overpressure to improve your wrist motions. When you bring your wrist at initial stretching range, that is where you want to stay holding so we can avoid any aggravations or possible strain. Each motion will hold for 10 seconds and repeating 10 repetitions. We'll continue grip strengthening exercise. You can try squeezing um, as much as you can as long as it is pain free. You may feel soreness or increased amounts of swelling after those exercises, so you can always apply an ice pack for 10 to 15 minutes. So stage three, which typically starts around 6 to 8 to 12 weeks. At this stage, we want to continue your range of motion exercises with overpressure if your range of motions are not met. I will try to upload another video that talks about how much of range of motions you need to have for your range of motions exercises to be done, so you can check that one out later. Once your range of motions are met, we want to focus on strengthening your muscles around your wrist at this stage. You can start with light weights, using dumbbells or water-filled bottle. Um, they are working the best for wrist flexion and extension motion. And I recommend for using a TheraBend for radial and ulnar deviation, which provides better mechanics for resistance. Let's start with wrist flexion. Position your wrist with your thumb outward and bring your wrist up towards ceiling from your pain-free, most elongated position. We'll do that exercise for three sets of 10 repetitions without holding. For wrist extension exercise, position your wrist with your thumb inward and bring your wrist up towards ceiling and again from pain-free elongated position. For wrist ulnar deviation, grab a band with good amounts of tension while you're holding it with your thumb positioning inward. Bring your hand outward and you should feel your muscles over right below of your wrist. Uh, your radial deviation, position the band below to your working hand while you're holding with your thumb facing upward and bring your hand towards ceiling so you can feel the muscles over the right below to your thumb. Once your range of motions as well as your strength are better, then now we want to put more pressure over your wrist joint so we can work on your stability. Start from putting slight pressure over table, and if you have no pain, try more pressure to it. Here are a progression of exercises, and you can try these exercises, two sets of 10 repetitions with holding three seconds, and when you feel no pressure or feel no pain with each exercise, you can progress your exercises to the next level. Thank you for watching my video, and hopefully this helps out for your journey of your rehab for the fracture of your wrist. Thank you.